What's up guys, I have some more great news for everybody that has an iPhone 4, 3GS, or iPod Touch 4th generation. If you have iOS 6.1.5 or 6.1.3, you can now jailbreak that untethered. And if you have an iPod Touch 4th generation, that means this jailbreak is permanent. Apple will no longer be updating it. So anyways, this is a very quick process and we do have to go back to Red Snow and use a tethered jailbreak for just a little bit, but then we install a new package in Cydia, which makes it untethered. So real quick, let's go ahead and get started. You wanna download the these two files, all links will be down below in the description. Right click Red Snow and open it on Mac or run as administrator on Windows and go to extras. And we're gonna go ahead and select the iOS 6 firmware that we downloaded and I just told you guys to download and it's gonna be right there for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now check to make sure your device is either on 6.1.3 or 6.1.5, make sure it's plugged in. And then in Red Snow, we're gonna go ahead and select back and select jailbreak. So this is a very quick process guys and you guys will end up with a fully untethered jailbreak. Now the first step is to go ahead and power down your iPhone or iPod touch because we are gonna to need to put it into DFU mode. And right here, if you want battery percentage, select that. If not, just go ahead and select next. Now right here is the tricky part, slightly. In order to put it into DFU mode, go ahead and select next in Red Snow. Hold the power button for three, two, one, together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let go of the power button. Now continue holding the home button until you do see Red Snow respond. So it'll start to flash that it is jailbreaking. And once it does power on, we're going to go ahead and put it into DFU mode one more time. So go ahead and power it off and do the same sequence, power and home for 10 seconds, then let go and keep holding the home button. Now, once you have it in DFU mode, make sure it's plugged in. We're gonna reopen Red Snow because if you keep it opened, it sometimes messes up. Anyways, just basically reopen it, go to extra, select that IPSW again, and then select okay. We're just gonna select just boot right now. And it'll go ahead and put you through the process. This is the only time you're gonna have to do this, but it will boot up in tethered mode for this time only. And the last time you do reboot, if you slide over, you won't notice Cydia right away. Sometimes it glitches, just give it a few seconds and it will appear on its own. Go ahead and open it up, set it up. And you know, it does take a little while, but once you do this, go ahead and press on changes. And then on the top left, select refresh because you won't see the application we need unless you refresh it. Anyways, go to the search option and we're gonna search for P and a zero after that. And the package is called Paw6 Pwn. Anyways, go ahead and install that, and this will make your device untethered. So it just takes one minute, and I would recommend that you go ahead and restart to confirm that it is working, but otherwise, you guys are fully untethered on iOS 6.1.5 or 6.1.3. The great thing is, if you have a 3GS or iPod Touch 4th generation, you guys are solid. You don't have to worry about Apple updating and blocking this jailbreak, so this is permanent. And guys, I have nothing else to say. You guys are fully jailbroken. Enjoy this jailbreak. Thanks to the Evaders team, and every other developer that has been working on this. Have a great day, guys. Peace.